It's really hot. It's hot. Why are we doing this? Why, why you gotta have such good economic policy, but be fucking hot all the time in Texas. Perfect, amazing weather Monday through Friday, and then as soon as Saturday rolls around, it's just a fucking thunderstorm. Yeah. And a tornado. And humid. Yeah. Well, welcome back to another Wednesday follow-up. Joining me again is the boy, me. Adam. I thought you were going to say Ween's Woodshop. <laughs> Why are those guinea hens being louder on the camera? You're going to hear them in the background. Fuck off! There they go! We've got a hard to follow up on today from the last Wednesday video and Friday's project, which we will follow up on first. Obviously, I don't have that project with me because it is screwed into my wall, dude. You're the one who did that. Do that. I'm gonna unscrew it just so I can bring it in here. So that was uh, another pallet wood project. Why aren't I, you dead yet? I don't know, dude. I haven't... You just must have pallet wood immunities. I guess so. I remember uh, before the pallet box video came out, I made a comment that I had a couple pro pallet projects coming out. And that's, that's it. That was the last one. Most of that pallet is poplar, but that front board I think is ash. And after I put that that one, that white on poly on there, it's like it's like shimmery. Wait, are you saying that pallet wood is poplar? There's <laughs> the rest of that pallet back there. Uh, near Gary's balls. Gary's balls. <laughs> so pal, pal, you know, even Gary was pleased with uh, the pallet and he's not a fan of pallet wood. So aside from wanting the additional storage in my bathroom, that's about it. I don't have any more plans for pallet projects anytime soon. So let's look at some comments on that video. I heard from my dad. Whoa! He said, that was awesome. I heard from Roy. Roy. Roy boy. Roy. Roy boy the boy. Uh, junior. He said, that was awesome. I think he made a typo because he said, that was awesome how you use a part of a whole salad <laughs> and turn it into a bathroom organizer. A whole salad. I'm pretty sure he was probably typing palette. It's on. like when I text you, boy. Boo hoo. <laughs> what are you doing, boo? <laughs> Hi. Kevin appreciated the Luigi hat at the beginning. <laughs> and Kevin making naughty uh, jokes on there. Phone holder is a must have because you never know what you might need both hands for. Shame on you, Kevin. We like to read news articles. Yeah. Buzzfeed. Not, no, not never. Buzzfeed. I heard from Gary. Precarious Garius. Who signed. Harry Gary. Harry Gary! Harry Gary, dude. Uh, see, he said, very cool idea. Very Harry Gary. He said, no gloves and no brush while ap applying poly. Living on the sticky side of life. <laughs> I always live on the sticky side of life, Gary. Uh. JMS liked it and thinks he should build one for his bedroom. I think you should too, JMS. Uh. Dude, Mama C. I don't think I've had any videos with you where we've heard from Mama C, but she's actually been with my channel like since the beginning, dude. Mama C. C stand for Cass? She said the chicken said uh, took my brushes. Probably. Because uh, it's a perfect size for a chicken broom. Jeopardy Chainsaw! Palette. I like those kind of projects too when you can really take out a lot of like precision and just focus on like what it's gonna be doing. Dude, you should make a banana boat serving trip. I have a fucking serving tray. Last Wednesday, we showed the banana boat secret. Mm -hmm. So everybody could see what a banana boat was. Everybody knows now. I heard from Roy. Roy, 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 Roy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I left a, a thing in, in my description about it and say, say something about getting free tacos at work. Roy said they had a taco Friday at his old job. Sounds like you need to go back to your old job, Roy. Like every Friday? Oh yeah, we asked what everybody's favorite finish was and what old projects they want to see. So Roy's favorite finish has been wipe on poly. I have some wipe on poly. Well, here, this one's open if you're trying to like sniff it and you're getting high or something. Yeah, dude! <laughs> and I will say, I had a lot more suggestions for past projects than I thought. <laughs> so, what, what me and Adam are going to do is I will try to touch on everybody's suggestions, but we're only going to do maybe like one to three per video because we still got to follow up on the previous project from, you know, that Friday and then, you know, address comments and, and the, the old project. So if you don't see your suggestions in this video, you, you will see them. It'll, it's just for the sake of time, 
We'll just do a few for video. Roy had mentioned seeing the beard cones. Oh my hey, god, don't, do we, I don't think we know where those are, Roy. I uh, got rid of those. In my one year video, I got rid of those cones. Because the ones for the video look like garbage, dude. Yeah. Heard from Mary. Mary uses a wipe-on gel polyurethane. Uh, it comes out really nice and super easy to use, but uh, it's pricey and a long process. Rather than mentioning a past project, Mary said, um, I want to know if you guys are ever going to make more music videos. Probably not. <laughs> yeah, probably not. Uh, keep well, your ears posted, though. Sorry, I don't know if you heard in last Friday's video, but he added in some filler music, and that was actually music that was written and produced and mixed by me. <laughs> yeah, Adam uh, has been making the music for the channel. My intro song is an Adam-made song, and the song uh, in last Friday's was Adam's song, and we made a really cool one, too. Yeah, yeah. we made we made one uh, last night, or, or really, rather, I made it just yeah. with, with Caleb approving a yeah. lot of it. <laughs> yeah. But you and should it, hear that in an upcoming video. It's really good. You probably won't hear that in this Friday's video, because the project will be appropriate. Yeah, so... So it'll probably be, uh, not this Friday, but the following Friday, you'll hear that one. So, yes and no, there will be, we're not gonna make a specifically a music video, but there will be videos with music in them. We heard from a Luke Silverfish. Oh, Luke Silverfish. Yeah, he said, Jupiter's Thunder, those look good enough to eat. <laughs> <laughs> and remember, you, you said that you hope that nobody ever puts them in charge of anything? Yeah. He said, don't worry, they don't put me in charge of anything. Dot, dot, dot. What are you alluding to? He, he likes epoxy as a finish. He said, I would like to see another music video. Oh, snap. Or a uh, picnic table bird feeder. We'll go back and watch the follow-up video for the bird feeder. Yeah. <laughs> Harry Gary, he is a Wipe on Polly fan. He thought the banana boats looked amazing. He said he thinks they would be really good for camping. So Gary, Gary's a camper, eh? We, we like camping, too. We, too, camp. Yeah, wouldn't that be cool? We could have like a Means Woodshop camp out. Oh, that would be awesome. In the next couple of years, we have to have a Means Woodshop camp out. And there has to be banana boats. Yeah, yeah. We'll have t-shirts with banana boats on them. <laughs> yeah. I heard from Jay Miss. He's a fan of shellac. Shellac? Shellac is what I used before spray lacquer. Kevin's favorite finish was the Carnauba wax. Carnauba wax? King Danger wax. CJ prefers glossy finishes. As do I. Suggested by Kevin. One of the cutting boards. We remember I got rid of the uh, maple or purple heart one. Kevin, you can see it's holding up very good. Uh, you can see it's gotten really, really dark with time, which Adam pointed out. You can like see though that this is the side I use more because this side doesn't look as dark. Kevin, it is holding up very good and in grain cutting boards take it care of well. Should probably be around when you're not. You'll die and then we'll end up in some garage sale. Yeah. Be in somebody else's kitchen. I actually kind of like the thought of that. Yeah, you know? it's, it's like a legacy. And uh, hopefully Ben will end up with it. I'll tell you what though, when he's in his 20s or whenever he moves out on his own, he's not getting it. Yeah, dude, no. He gets don't. it. He gets it when, when both me and Jeff are dead. That's when he gets it because I don't trust him to take care of it. Give it to him when he actually gets married and like has his yeah. own house. Another suggestion was from Jay Miss. He wanted to check out the sofa arm table. This is the table for small people. Dude, you know what's f you know what's wacky? This is one of the first Mains Woodshop projects. I designed it to fit on that really ugly yellow chair. Mm -hmm. We got that new couch, dude, and it's like scary how perfect perfect this fits on it. I mean, it's it's like snug, but you could still get it on there easy. Actually, here in a second, I'll include just a little clip of how like how scary perfect this fits. <laughs> Here's the chair was designed for. You can see it, it worked pretty good, pretty sturdy, but what the f Turn the page. <sighs> New couch. Look at that. It's like it was made for it. It's wacky. Dude, that thing's like so beefy. It's like a rock. Ooh, like a rock. If I were to make this today, I wouldn't put oak and walnut together. 
Oak to me looks much better on its own. And I had multiple suggestions wanting to look at the old beer mug. The old beer Dude, mug. Dude, this was like probably like the third or fourth video I posted on this channel. It was really popular too. As far as just projects go, it is still the most, the reigning champion of Mean Switch Out Projects. Hey and I loathe that video. <laughs> I hate the video for this. It's I, super long. It, it's like 27 minutes long. <laughs> and and it's, like, it's like 27 minutes of me saying, and dead burn. <laughs> dead burn. Yeah. Oh, dude, I was so, I was really obnoxious in it. I mean, I'm so obnoxious now, but. It's one of your early videos. You haven't, you didn't find your flow yet. Uh uh. I've, I've thought about redoing the beer mug video just so I could, like, condense it way down. Brevity and see, take another whack at it and see if we can make a nicer one as well. Yeah. Because you've leveled up since then, so. Yeah. Beer mug is holding up well. I don't use it, like, ever. Yeah. I made all of us guys beer mugs, and we used them at a couple parties, but it just, it's, it's like a chore. It is. <laughs> they are really cool. They're but... cool, but you gotta like, like that holds like what, like three whole beers? Three whole <laughs> yeah. 12 ounce beers? Anyways, my question for this week was gonna be, what was your first woodworking project that you ever made? <laughs> And what was your first woodworking project? Actually, I think it was either a skateboard ramp or a ladder. And I made it all with hand tools. Oh. I, I made a ladder so I could climb taller trees. <laughs> <laughs> my first woodworking project ever was a clipboard, which I've showed on my channel before. And I'll throw in a picture in case anybody hasn't seen it before. That was my first ever woodworking project. I want to know what your first ever woodworking project was. Is that it? I think that's it. I think I think that's it. Be sure to tune in this Friday. I got a pretty a pretty fun project for Friday, and uh, it, it'll it'll be kind of short, but I will see you on Friday, and we will we will see you next Wednesday. Catch you next time, eh? Later. Yeah.